Matthew versus Ridge. We have Rainbow Cruise as the stage. Ridge let out an audible ooh, which means that he does not like the stage. While most people are definitely not a fan of moving stages, Matthew seems to be doing pretty fine on it. For the less of an even exchange, Matthew at 76 percentage and damage Fox at 12. Matthew at 105, about to lose his stock right near the black zone and lost it to an up air by Fox. Fox still at 12, transition, they transitioned off of the boat and onto the moving platform. Fox is able to connect a few aerials together as well as get a fire Fox as well as recover at the same time, optimizing his recovery strategy. Matthew takes it all on, uses an up to try to connect with Fox, but misses and is punished with a death by up, up smash. Fox is able to bounce. Fox is able to bounce a bomb off and punishes Link for his bomb throw. Fox at the advantage still with only 23%, Link at 73. An up, an up smash would kill Link again, but Fox is still sitting pretty. Link goes flying and almost takes and misses the platform to recover, and we're about to go down back onto the ship and make a full rotation. Link almost missed his opportunity and almost touched the blast zone. Link connects with an up B, but it's not enough to take and avoid the death from Fox's forward smash. Link misses a grab and punch with a smash attack, and Fox almost missed the ledge due to Link's jab combo. Link gets the dash attack in, but Fox is still fine. Fox is at 92, Fox is at kill percent. One good attack will take and kill Fox. Fox at 111, they're both playing real comfortable with the left black zone as they're about to take a transition up on the platforms again. And the match has 15 seconds left to see what happens. And Matthew squeezes out one last kill before the match ends with a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, Matthew lost one last stock right before the time ended. Does that make a difference? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Big oof. <laughs> Ridge decides to go back with Ganondorf. Real comfortable with sticking with Ganondorf or Fox. They have the Fountain of Dreams, a good neutral stage for any character. Ganondorf takes the lead with a punch and a warlock kick at 51%. Nana's not able to recover now. Now Matthew's at a disadvantage not being able to recover onto the stage because of that. Ganon charges an up smash with misses, and Matthew's still holding on even though he was Nana, but just lost a stop. <laughs> Ganon is able to dodge a few attacks as well as get in a few warlock kicks. Take some of damage to Nana but not Popo. Matthew's able to take, and take a few hits but it's still not doing, doing enough damage to try to get a kill on Ganon. Ganon keeping that spacing nicely. And my father is able to take and recover. Ganon charging a smash attack with this and she receives no punish for it. Ganon 
Yeah, and able to connect with the side feet. Both characters are off stage. Now was an on stage play to take some guys. Not too a disadvantage here. Missing that and ends up getting an up air roll to take and lose his stock. Again, it is two two in an advantage. Yeah, he has commenced it up there with a few other attacks, and it's got nice farmers up to 70% again. Get it at 99%, still yet to lose a stock. They have 45 seconds left in the match. And Ganon takes his third stock of the match. Ganon at 1 plus 10 could definitely lose a stock at any moment. Most attacks will kill Ganon in this stage because it is slightly smaller than the rest of the stages. Ganon gets a bit of a side beat, but we're trying to keep this going. They're starting to rack up another 70 smooth percentage, 82 percentage, but Ganon is at 130 and almost lost his stuff. Getting real close and personal with that top black zone, but not connecting with it. Ganon goes for one last ditch scrap, but misses. But Ganon rocks the match with three kills. Alright, so let me get some view of Ganon now. <laughs>